hey everybody, I thought it's important to have a serious talk with you today about toxins. Now there are certain toxins in life that we cannot avoid and that is going outside and there's so much pollution in the air and your cars are probably the biggest source of pollution right now out there. And um, there's a couple of things we can't control that there's toxins everywhere. But I can sort of a, a toxin freak <laughs> trying to be as toxin free as possible with what we can control and you'll be amazed to know just how many things you can control, how many toxins you take in your body and that most of the things you are buying contains so many toxins. So I try and steer away from that and it isn't really that costly. It's about your health at the end of the day. So first of all, what you ingest, yeah, the foods, you know, try and make them, I don't want to say everyone must go to Woolworths, I don't think that's a practical thing, but free range is definitely way better. But there's certain things that we can all control, okay, besides food, I'm not going to get into that, but let's control what we drink. So I'm big, if anyone don't know how big I am on herbal teas, I'm a huge peppermint fan. So this is something you can buy by Wellness Warehouse and it's awesome. Everything in Wellness Warehouse is awesome. And uh, this is Anique Herbal Teas, the purest of rooibos. That's a lemon one. You have to drink lemon every day. It's an amazing immune booster. And then uh, shakes. So this is a cocoa powder I just received today. I heard so many amazing things about it. But cocoa is dark chocolate and dark chocolate is very good for you. So this is a dark chocolate, hot chocolate that I'm very excited to try tonight before you sleep is the best and then meal replacement shakes now they're all basically 500 grams and a mix one is like the best tasting i don't particularly like strawberry this much else one but chocolate's inside so um, meal replacement shakes are way better than i don't have to eat lunch every single day sometimes i only eat supper sometimes it's lunch and supper so yeah that's fasting talk again um and then there's certain things you can control for household cleaners now while i don't have a lot these are very important things to take note of Okay, I just created something in this bottle, which is brown vinegar and loads of lemon oil. Now we talk about pure lemon oil, which I use to put in that. This is one from Young Living, but you know, I always use Doterra's ones. As a household cleaner, as in some skincare treatments, yeah, and to drink for Doterra's one you can ingest. So lemon, big on lemon, big on other oils as well, but I'm just promoting lemon right now. And then what you can control in your bathroom. Oh my goodness. Okay, so toothpaste. Definitely. I have to tell this one as well, but this is Young Living's one. The only real whitening toothpaste you trust is when they're so essential oil infused and does not contain fluoride. For my hair, you know, most of the time it's curly, right? So I use Argan Green, my ambassador brand, curl cream. Oh, and that, that's how it stays in, intact, in case you're wondering. And then uh, part of bathroom is also soaps. Now we know I spend a hell of a lot of money on soap. No, I don't have body wash. And that is the dish of Zen's one. Yogi soap. Intense. Heavy, heavy, intense and unisex. Does the job, no toxins, and then hmm, just gonna go straight to the bedroom now because the rest of it just ask about. And then when it comes to bedroom essentials, okay. So first of all, the sanitizers, I do not take store ones because some most of them contain ethanol, which is that ingredient that dries the heck out of your hands. This one from Young Loving does not dry your hands, but I have some other sanitizers as well. Essential oil infused, okay? But sometimes if you take too much of sanitizer in general or you wash your hands too often, it gets dry. Hand creams are very important. I've been diligent on this for years, however. Or not just any gen speakery dung one. So this is Argan Green's one. Love it. As far as my makeup goes, everything is non-animal tested. And oh yeah, sorry, bathroom essential. My shampoo's like right here. Heavy overpriced. I love my Luxitan. It's huge peppermint extracted. But I do use others as well and then throw my own peppermint and lavender oil in them. And then, but they have to be sulfate free. Sulfate is that thing where you're suffering from hair loss and shit. It's that. And that's in most shampoos, by the way. So my makeup, like I said, well, I'm just gonna focus on one of my foundations, Anique. It's already rooibos plant extracted infused, this beauty. It's good for you. I also have the BB cream here and whatever else you name it. As far as my nails go, because we know I wear different color nail polish every week. Trust me, they're all very nicely priced because <laughs> they last you a long time. And they are mainly essential oil infused or plant extracted. This is Nuka's one. It's a navy actually, but I do have the black as well. Um, so they do not contain those chemicals that also dye the nail and just bad for your nails in general, it's toxins. I create my own foot mixture because shiz, I love peppermint and there's a whole lot in here. I can tell you straight, all of it's from Anique and Shazen. Shazen has the best feet care, but sometimes I didn't have enough and it's like, let's mix it up with some pure peppermint oil. And then perfume. So what they spray you with in store and the perfumes that you use contains the most toxins, even as air fresheners, oh my goodness. So you definitely want to opt for a more natural one. The more you can get like these Adola ones, the better sandalwood and stuff so this is your zen's one so they are more pricey but they do also last you very very long and then for your face like nighttime routines and that i would facial oil essential oils in facial oils is what's providing the glow and why i don't need makeup could run out this morning without makeup on and no one's gonna get a shock of their lives and furthermore with further essential oils if you don't like the oils just so i want to put them in carrier oils um you get the roller blends now you get the teres roller blend but the is your zen's ones which is just it's just beautiful You'll feel uplifted and that's why I have so much energy every single day. And I just want to end off on lip balms. 
and I want to end off on lip. I'm still got one more. Lip balm is extremely important when you put on your lips. So many toxins and all this other nonsense. And then huh, everyone gets toxins together and there's some basso uh, kissing going on. So definitely try and put as much peppermint in. Anything I can provide. A collagen lift. Oh my goodness. Shizen's one is really the best one I've tried so far. This is a lip saver. Vanilla and peppermint. Mm -mm. We can actually like liquid. Nothing's going to happen to you because they're pure essential oils. And I'll end off on ladies. Because it's just for ladies. What we put into us has toxins. Pads have toxins. We know tampons have toxins because it can give you toxic syndrome at the end of the day. It does not just anyone else, anyone really, but organic tampons and organic pads are the only ones that aren't, you know, toxic driven. So if you're using that, amazing. But if you decided to get into the times and the future with feminine hygiene and menstrual cups or a disc, congratulations, you'll never go back to anything in your life. After just three months of using this, you'll feel healthier, your period will be better. And you'll be thanking me. And I actually have some on me because I'm an ambassador for them because I've used it and it's looking amazing. And this is the only cup, by the way, that doesn't have sizes. So yeah, live toxin-free people. Reach out to me if you're not sure what the heck to use about whatever. But trust me, you want to get rid of those toxins. It causes a lot of bad things on your skin, internally. Um, there's just so many things. I mean, you ask a healthy professional for things like pulse because you can see I've, I've stayed away from pulse for years. You have to, yes, they will explain to you the benefits. Nobody's lying to you. Let me not put anyone down. But when you ask the question to your healthcare professional, you really need to ask them, so what are the side effects that could also take place? And what is in here that could be bad for me? They'll be honest. And then you weigh out pros and cons of what you're willing to spend on your health. Thank you for watching.